Maybe you can just tell us a bit about what it means to you to be showing Eureka here with, to, to a Moroccan audience. Well, I'm, I'm super happy to be here because it's uh, most the one of the last festivals we are, uh, I mean, here in order to present the film. It's a great platform, it's a great festival. There's a lot of films from different places and I think being here with Vigo showing this film and listening to his talk and what he does <laughs> and everything, even if I know this guy, it's a great pleasure for me. It's Vigo, I mean, what an incredible in conversation you had, you know, what were some of the highlights for you? What was that experience like having a whole retrospective on your career? Well, I thought she, had, I thought she did a great job of moderating and running the show. It was very, very smooth. It went by very quickly, even though I know it was an hour, hour and a half. Um, it was nice for me, too, to go down. When I see these clips from movies that I did, some, some of them quite some time ago, it's like when you look at a photo album, you know, of your family. When you're looking at the picture, 90% of what you're thinking about is outside of the frame. So I'm looking at these clips and I think about what was it like shooting or what was the weather, or the relationships with the crew and the other actors. And so it was, it's nice for me, too, to go down memory lane. You know? When I was invited to come, I was worried because when I said, well, you're going to have a conversation with the public, I said, well, you understand, I can't speak about acting. So whatever clips you show and the conversation will have to be exclusively about producing and directing. Okay. So that was more limited, but still would be interesting. Um, but then once the strike ended, I said, okay, now we can talk about what we want. So it became, it was a mixture of, of talking about both things, directing side, acting side, and then not so much producing, but uh, yeah, I was, I was relieved that it ended and also because I have a film that I finished and I want to put out there, I want to be able to go with the other actors and, and promote it, so now we can. Which I highly recommend, even if I, I, I was there during the shooting. So I think uh, you should all watch the second film from Vigo as a director. <laughs> the Dead Don't Hair, right? Thank you. Is that the title? Here's your five dollars. Okay, uh, I, I, we talk about ten. <laughs> okay. Well, I never work as an actor with him, but I think... I, well, yeah, I was there, at, I mean, back in the frame. But I really enjoyed it. No, I, I was in the shooting when, in the second film he made in Mexico. Uh, and it was uh, really nice to be there. I, I was there for a week and observing and watching how, how, how he work as a director and and I think it, it was really good for me so, to just be in silence observing Vigo <laughs> making his movie. I really no I'm, I'm serious about it. So I, I really like to I really enjoy to be there. And I think the film from what I saw already some sequences really great enough to go on so as soon as we can. Okay.